Biker Billy cooks with fire. All right, I got the big knife out today, and we're sure going to need it because we're going to cook some outrageous recipes. Yes, fall is in the air. It is harvest time, and along with harvest time comes a big, bountiful collection of wonderful squash. Yes, winter squash is here now. There are lots of recipes we can cook, and today we're calling our show... Biker squash them. So sit back, relax, stay tuned, and when we come back, we'll cook with fire. All right. All right. Now we're going to cook some outrageous recipes today. I'm going to use a big, beautiful butternut squash, but you can use any squash. You can use your acorn squash. You can use your buttercup squash, or your Hubbard squash. Any kind of squash, any winter squash will do. Now, we're going to make something I call nutty butter nutty, hot nutty butter nutty. Oh, it's delicious. It's baked, it's stuffed, and you're going to love it. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to take four tablespoons of butter and put that in our saute pan and get that nice and hot. Now, what would hot be without some hot pepper. So I got me a beautiful red serrano pepper. You can use more than one if you're a super hot head, but you can let the other people who aren't into it yet get used to it and start with one. Throw the head out. Take it and throw it in the food processor and we're gonna chop it up real fine. Now, it's a butternut squash. We're gonna stuff it with nuts. I'm using cashews. Yes, delicious, wonderful cashews. Start with cashew pieces. They don't have to be whole, because guess what we're going to do? We're going to chop them up. Now, you can use peanuts, almonds, pecans. You can use any nuts you can. Now, we've got our four tablespoons of butter, and you got to use butter for this. If you use margarine, it gets too hot and it will burn, and these nuts will burn real fast, and you don't want burnt nuts now, do you? Now, in our food processor, we got our chopped serrano, and we have our chopped up cashews. So we're just going to take, and we're going to add this in to that, that nice, wonderful four tablespoons of butter, and we're going to start to gently saute this, and we're going to saute this for three or four minutes, and then we're gonna start adding our other ingredients. But while that cooks, we are gonna take, and you gotta keep a careful eye on this because you don't wanna burn it. We're gonna take our butternut squash and we got a big, rigid, sharp knife. Now, this squash flares out at the bottom, has a long, narrow section, and it's got the stem where it grows off of the plant. What we wanna do, and watch that heat, is we're gonna wanna cut off this stem. Now you gotta be very careful, find where that squash is gonna sit well, cause you don't want it wobbling around. This baby's hard. Now, you're gonna slice off just a little bit of the end and be very careful, fingers on top of the knife, very careful, and you cut off the tip. And I want you to set this little piece aside because we may need that for something. Now, if we look over here, we can see this is foaming and the sizzling. Nice and delicious. Now, once this is simmered for a little while, we're gonna take a quarter cup of currants. Yes, these are itsy bitsy raisin type things. We're gonna take them and a fork, and we're gonna stir the currants into the nice hot nut mix and let that simmer over a low heat for a couple of minutes. Now, take this nice big butternut squash, stand it up on its end, and look at it. You're going to want to find halfway down the middle, right? So, very carefully and make sure it's stable with a gentle rocking motion. Here, I get this where I can see it and you can see it. You're going to want to force that big knife through, and you're going to want to watch that you go straight down and cut this nice and evenly in half. Take your time, don't be too dangerous. 
you can get it. Oh boy, this is a big one. You need a big knife. Look how fat that is at the bottom. So, boom, we cut it in half and we got two pieces. Now, the squash has got seeds in it. It's like a pumpkin. Guess what? Pumpkin's a squash, folks. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep an eye on our nuts and our currants. Ooh boy, that's looking delicious. Now, before we go any further, we are gonna take one half cup of peanut butter. We're gonna take this nice half cup of peanut butter and we're just gonna add it right in to our delicious hot nuts and currant. Now, you just take and blend this in here so this is a nice, smooth consistency. Again, this is over a very low heat, and as soon as you basically have got this blended in, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab yourself some dark brown cane sugar. Not light brown, but dark brown cane sugar, okay? It's nice, it's wonderful. It should be granular if it has gotten to be solid lumps. Wrap it in a damp paper towel, put it in your microwave oven, and zap it for a little bit, and it'll get nice and soft and crumbly. As soon as this is soft and crumbly, all right, so that's smooth and creamy and melted. We're going to take, we're going to open up this well-sealed box, and we're going to take one tablespoon. Now, what you got to do here is when you get this out, see how nice and big it is? You're going to want to make sure that that is a packed tablespoon, not like airspace and just pop that in here. Stir this brown sugar in, and you're gonna turn the heat off on this and let this cool. That is gonna be our stuffing. Now, let me show you what we're gonna do with the squash. We're just gonna take, just like a pumpkin, just like on Halloween, we're gonna take and we're gonna get the seeds out. All right, got the seeds out of the center. I'm gonna do that to both halves, but I wanna show you we're gonna do three recipes with this. One and a half we're going to stuff, the other half we're going to do some interesting things, so I'm going to cut this, whoa baby, cut this in half and I'll have to get me another squash, and I'm going to take my potato peeler and I'm going to peel off all of this tough outer skin right down to it is the same color as the inside. Now while I peel like crazy, you sit back, you relax, when you come back, what are we going to do, Mike Freeze? Uh, continue cooking as we have been. With fire, all right!